Would you date or old man? Is that how you move to people, you yeah? Beef. You have beef with her, why? Than me. How is she taller than you? That's mad still. What well, you lot telling, man? Welcome back to my channel. I'm with um, Empress Divine today. And basically, yeah, I'm going to be dressing up Empress Divine in some roadman outfits. Yeah? Oh, We're going to go to JD and um, I'm going to put her in a roadman outfit. So probably like a tracksuit or something. Let's just see how it goes, innit? It's getting bare bright. But yeah, you got anything to say to them? I'm hungry. All right, cool. Say nothing. What's that? Vegan, Vegan pizza. pizza. Mad thing. but yeah, man. Um, see you in JD. Innit? Right, listen, yeah, smash the like button. You get me? Let's set a like, bro. What are we saying? 250? 250 likes. Yeah, that's reasonable. Still, go smash 250 likes for more vlogs than that. Hold tight, Domino's. Oh, you get me? We should get vegan pizza from where? Domino's. They yeah. sell that. You hold it. I can't <laughs> <laughs> see. This doesn't work because my arms are, aren't long enough. You gotta hold the camera up for the time being, Okay, here my arms hurting. Basically, yeah, we're not vloggers, innit? So we have to take time. But the lighting's proper, though. Yeah, I know. It's like a flipping summer's day. We're only in spring, cuz. I right, move to it, move to it. Is that how you move to it? <laughs> Alright, cool. Basically, there was bare music in the background, innit? So man has to do a voiceover and that. I ain't done this shit before, so let's see how it goes, innit? There's me and JD looking for an outfit. I think this is why I asked her what her favourite colour is, innit? And she said yellow. But I was trying to go for dark colours, like black, blue, maybe even grey and that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm still there looking for outfits and that. I don't really know what to say because, yeah, there's me looking for outfits, innit? There's me walking about in circles and JD looking like a complete dickhead until I found a Puma tracksuit. I don't think she liked it and I'm not gonna lie, it is basic. But looking back, I can't believe this was actually 40 pound. 40 pound for a tracksuit, the fuck? But anyway, boom, there's me looking at the size and that, seeing if it's a pattern and it was basic. So I put that shit right back and I'm back on the strip again, looking for tracksuits. If you've ever been shopping and you've been through the situation where you can't get the clothes off of the hanger and that, that you struggle, then make sure you lot go thumbs up the video. There's me getting assistance and that. And yeah, I must have picked the top to it. And this was alright still until I saw how baggy the top was. Like, why is it so baggy? And it's a small as well. Like, what, what's going on? So I must have put that shit right back, do you know what I'm saying? Because this would have not been a pattern. There's me struggling again like a dickhead. But um, yeah, I think Empress Divine said, let's go to the um, Adidas section, but I didn't hear her. So I went to the supply and demand section and I tried to choose this um, baseball jacket looking shit. But that's not really a roadman outfit, so I put that shit right back. There's me in the sales section looking for the cheapest shit possible. Didn't really find anything there until Empress Stefan saw this no face jacket, which was originally 440 pounds. Sorry, my maths is shit. But yeah, um, now it's 200 pounds. Saw the Adidas um, top now, and this was a pattern store, but there was no bottoms to it. Like, that's not the original bottoms to it. So yeah, I can't really put her in that. Here's an um, no face, here's the no face tracksuit bottoms or whatever. And I thought this was a pattern, but I couldn't find a top to it. There's Empress Divine going in the changing room. There's no handle, the fucking ghetto. There's Empress Divine in her roadman outfit that I picked out for her. I think this is calm still looking at she's gonna shot man something. That was kind of a stereotype, I'm not gonna lie. I think that she would get the part in top where she was to wear this to the audition. But yeah, man, comment below if this outfit's a pattern. I think it's calm still, like, I think I done well. So what are you saying? You back to your normal self, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. You should have wore the Converse's with the tracksuit. It looked disgusting. Do you know why? Oh why? my god. Is it because of that baggy at the bottom? Yeah. And they got the elastic team? Yeah. Is that how you move to people, we yeah? Have beef. You have beef with her, why? Yeah. She thinks she looks better than me. She thinks she looks better than you. <laughs> how is she taller than you? That's a mad story. Empress Divine done a TED talk. Big TED talk, you know. So Big tell us about it. What was it saying? It was calm. It was calm, that's all she got to say. Big <laughs> TED talk. No, I'm, I'm actually very, very proud of myself. Um, it was very nerve-wracking, uh, but I wrote a good piece. Um, I spoke with my heart, with my chest. Come on. Um, you know, everyone felt it and congratulated me. So I just need to, yeah, big up myself for that. Come on, man. <laughs> It was better the first time. Nah, it wasn't. It was too bright. These are all my car store. This is actually my garage. 
get me. What car are we driving today? Can you go ahead? <coughs> if you want rentals, rental links are now. Put mine up, do you know what I'm saying? Because as I said, this is actually all my cars. Vegan cheese is a hit or miss. I've never had this pizza before. In that rice, nice cheese. I've become accustomed to vegan cheese. I said it looks like rice. Nah, this, look, look at the camera. That doesn't look like it rice. It does look like, like rice. Vegan cheese. vegan cheese doesn't really melt nicely, so that's why. Clearly not. Okay. Would you date a road man? Well, define a road man. Someone that does road. What, like selling drugs? Yeah, he's outside, he's out he's there. He's got ops. He's known, yeah. Outside, but he cheats you good. Could you do it? No. Could you handle that life? Why not? There's too many consequences. Like, just too. It's the, the fear factor is too much, innit? Like, I already have anxiety. Like, do you know what I mean? He'll be leaving the house, and I'm like, fuck. Is is, is today the day that I see him for the last time? Could I date? Because there's road girls, innit? Or girls that are involved in that life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, I'm thinking, could I date one? And I'll be real. You could. That's all techie though Because usually when it comes to that lifestyle I'm chatting like I know But usually when it comes to that lifestyle, yeah She's not running things Yeah, she's just holding it Yeah, so that means that she's going to be dealing with next man That I probably don't even know or got dealings with mm -hmm. And I'm going out of her At least when it comes to like the guys now Most of the time, mm. they're running it mm. So, you're with a boss Yeah Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't like that now? No I mean, I do But just not in that That field That field Do you think, yeah that a road man can make a good boyfriend? I'd say yes, but obviously there's risks that come with it. Okay, so just cool. always be cautious, innit? All right, cool. So that was my question. If you don't enjoy this video, go thumbs it up. Um, comment below. If you're a girl, could you date a road man? If you're a guy, could you date a girl that's on road or affiliated? Um, comment below. And yeah, say no more, innit? Oh.